movieweb.com. Welcome to Australia. You'd be a lot more comfortable if you changed into something a little less uh, constricting. You keep your eyes on the road. Mr. Drover, there's only one tent. We're not really used to one. Uh... A woman? Guests. We're not used to guests, that's what I was about to say. With 1,500 cattle, <laughs> on set, did you ever systematically go through them and pick one out and decide, and then that's the one I want to eat tonight? Uh, at times, that was the point of discussion. When you have a rap party on a movie like this, it's like, which poor back is going to get it? <laughs> um, no, but occasionally when the we used shorthorn cattle, which actually have long horns, and they don't like to run. So we found that out when we were doing the stampede. So we used to yell out barbecue and that would seem to get it going. <laughs> Even better than using the stock whip. Well, there's that one, you've seen the movie, right? Yeah. There's that one scene where that cow comes up out of the herd and just goes across him like a shark. Do you remember that scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was going on with that cow? They do that, it, it's sort of, well actually, what has been edited out of the movie is they are, as we would say in Australia, cows are mad rooters. They just love nothing better than having a good old hump all the time. <laughs> and so in the background of almost every shot we were doing, because they're just standing around going and, they're just walking all day, right? And they just walking right by and they go, oh yeah, have a crack, and so they're up. <laughs> anyway, but at times they're so run together and they get very kind of frightened when you're using the whips, they get kind of very agitated. Sometimes they'll jump on top of each other and just walk across. And... I was gonna say, with a movie of this scale, it's so epic, did you sort of bring a different style of acting to your character than you've mm -hmm. done before? Because it seems a little bit old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Well. Old fashioned is maybe a bit of a bit misleading, except that this movie strives to do what movies don't do very much anymore, which is combine many different styles in one. So there's, a, there's comedy, there's tragedy, there's romance, there's action. Movies nowadays are very much, it's an action movie, and we're gonna sell it, it's an action movie. It's a kid's movie, it's a comedy, it's this, and not very often do you get that feast, that sort of Thanksgiving feast, shall I say, where there's everything, so as an actor, yeah, you've got to be able to traverse different styles. At times it's quite broad comedically, you know, at times it's a uh, very high tragedy, at times it's romantic and, and you feel like all these different things all at once. At times you feel like Clark Gable and then you're Errol <laughs> Flynn and then you're Indiana Jones and Clint Eastwood and it's sort of all that. John Wayne at times. It's well, I know that there's a lot of action in the film, but the one scene I want to ask you about, because I was just watching Boz on the EPK mm. direct, is the shower scene out in the middle of nowhere where you're washing this soapy mess off of you. How difficult of a scene is that to get through when Boz is so energetic and screaming next to you to get oh, what he oh, wants? Oh, I'm used to that. That doesn't bother me. The hard thing was the crew giving me a hard time. <laughs> I mean, it's a very stylized scene, and we were going for a particular type of humor, and I think people get it, and Baz, it was a bold thing to do, right? Uh, and I questioned Baz at the time, are you sure people are going to laugh in the right way? And he says, if we're bold and we're strong, we really go for it, really go for it, they'll get it. But I took a break and I came back, and half the crew had their shirts off, right? <laughs> and, and they'd oiled themselves up, and a few had soap suds, and just acted like it was just another day on the set. And I remember the guy with the boom mic going, Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, they That's me a hard crazy. Time. Okay, well, one last question. What's harder, droving kids or droving cattle? Because that seems to be the two storylines that cattle. sort of mesh in the middle. Cattle. I mean, yeah, I know you think kids are tough, but you're right, you got the, the parallel there, but definitely cattle. Cattle, they don't want to go anywhere, really. They don't want to do anything. They just want to stay in a bunch and it looks really easy, but it took us months to really get down the skill and the craft of moving cattle. Was there one like scene where you just thought you had nailed it and a cow ruined it for you? No, but there was quite a few scenes where I think there's one scene, it's in the movie, and I'm coming around and I'm looking at Nullas just when he's on the cliff and I have to come to a stop and a cow juts right in front because they're all very unpredictable. I fell over at one point 
I remember me and the horse went over because a cow just darted in front and we just went plowing straight into this cow. Because cow are not particularly smart. Looking at me, bang, straight in. All of us went all over each other. You know, that happened many times. It's crazy. I tell you, yeah, I enjoy eating my steaks even more now, let me tell you. <laughs> you think maybe it could turn you into a vegetarian, but no. So now you just go into the steak shop and you just stick the fork in there and go, that's what you get. Give me that steak. I, I want the whole carcass. I've got to spit in the backyard and I just want to roast them. Oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> I will come and find you, whatever happens, whatever it takes. You're gonna have to be strong. Can you do that?